Correct, correct people, how on her day. Welcome back to Texas TV. We don't carry better a procon given about waiting the sub for palace. As the Tory were the wishes right now from inside the palace of Oni of Ifebi say that uh, after Kabi AC told Miriam and Ronke that he is going to divorce them. We heard that they have been crying in the palace begging KBS not to do so. Yes, that they don't have any place to go to. They don't want to go back to their ex-husband. So right now we heard that Miriam said that she can no longer take the kind of embarrassment that KBS is giving her due to Queen Naomi. Yes, that if not Queen Naomi, that KBS will not tell them to leave the palace. That it is because of Momitsa Denekau that is why KBSA is urging them to pack their things and leave. So we heard that Miriam entered her vehicle and drove straight down to Akira to go and fight Queen Naomi. Saying that Queen Naomi has been the problem she has been encountering from day one since she entered this marriage in 2022. That Momita Denekawo has been standing in the gap between her and KBSA that she wants to end it all with Queen Naomi today. My correct people know this more wahala. We heard that as uh, Miriam reached Momita Denekawa's mansion in Akire, she was barging at the gate and she was shouting on top of her voice that Queen Naomi should come out, let them settle it once and for all, that she has endured for so many months trying to put things in order with KBAC. But Kabi AC kept on misunderstanding her. That she has tried to escape this uh, divorce with Kabi AC so many times. And right now, Queen Naomi has brought it back to Kabi AC's mind. Yes, truly, Olori Miriam has tried to escape divorce from Kabi AC. We heard that there was a time Kabi AC insisted that Miriam will leave the palace. It was through the intervention of a bitter elders that KBSC had a second thought. We heard that KBSC insisted that it is better that Miriam goes back to Baba Nasiru than staying in the palace and doing nothing. Since she can no longer conceive, there is nothing which they do for palace for the unity of the Elefe people. Nobis Mawahalao, Ebira elders kept on begging and begging and begging until KBSC had a change of mind. And Miriam was crying as of then. She was also begging that she would not cause problem in the palace again. That was how she escaped being divorced. Yes. And right now she don't talk say ah now because of Queen Naomi say Kabi is who won't divorce him again. No. Say what thing she do to Queen Naomi. Every time Mommy said then a will be causing problem in the palace. Now so she the run out to say I beg make Queen Naomi not try enter palace again. No. That she will not allow that to happen because she knows say if Queen Naomi enter palace that their say in the palace will be at risk. Their marriage will, with Kabiesu will be in the verge of a collapsing. And she went to Akire to go and fight innocent Queen Naomi. Saying that Queen Naomi is the cause. That if not that Queen Naomi is planning to return back that Kabiesu will not ask her to leave. That she will not leave the palace because of Mommy Tedine Kawo. That she has come to stay. Now so she they talk or we hear say she they talk, she they cry, they talk, say she no go leave palace because of mommy Tedene Kao. So right now she don't enter Akire as we heard. She was barging at Queen Naomi's gate. She was calling Queen Naomi out. Said that Queen Naomi should come at me and settle and once and follow. That what did she do? That anytime where Queen Naomi won't enter palace, say Kabi could they, you know, threaten them to divorce their marriage. Say make Queen Naomi stay in Akire where she do. She was badging, she was almost uh, pulling down Mommy Tedene was When I don't say when somebody is angry, the way, the energy, when you go, they use check the gates. Nobody's smart, you know. She was pushing the gates so hard, calling Queen Naomi before we had the security guard to come out to warn her. Yes. And she said that she will not leave uh, uh, the gate. So say Queen Naomi got to come out, made it settle everything once and for all. So why is it that KBS is always threatening her with divorce? Now because of Mommy Tedene Kao. 
And we heard that at this moment, where this thing that happened for Palace that Queen Naomi is not around, she went for a function. Yes, remember that she was given an appointment recently. So she's still running around. She knows they two stay one place. So that is it. Oh. And she knock, knock, knock. She shout, shout, shout. Nobody come out. Just the security warning her. She turned back and went back to the palace. One thing this Oloris forget be say. Once you are in love with somebody, you know if you forget that person. No? Yes. They are new truly that Kabi is in love with Naomi. That even when they were forcing themselves on Kabi they knew that Kabi is in love with Naomi and that there is no way Kabi is go fit forget Queen Naomi and they still force their way in. Right now, it don't they play out, it don't they show. Maybe they married Kabi is thinking that if they come into the palace that they will be able to change him, that they will be able to make Kabi is to start loving them. Yes, so that Kabi is will forget Queen Naomi. But as they come into the palace, it was even worse. That was when Kabi is get to find out that the qualities he is looking for in a woman, that the Oloris, none of them have it. The same quality that Mamit Edeneka will have, that is what Kabi is was looking for. Forgetting that everybody is different that when naomi cannot be the same with miriam miriam cannot be the same with ronke ronke cannot be the same with toby kabi is thought that every woman have the same qualities but when they force their way in kabi is have seen that when uh, naomi is second to none that she cannot be compared to anybody not even first to none. Nobody can be compared to her. Her character, everything. She was so lovely. And right now, Kabi is regretting. Yes. And what we hear be say, Kabi is want to do everything humanly possible to make when Naomi enter palace back. So if it is going to cost her uh, his marriage with uh, Olori, Mariam, and Ronke, he is willing to do that. That is why the idea of setting them free even come to his mind. That if that is what will make me Naomi to return, I will set Ronke free, I will set Miriam free, let them leave. As uh, 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 There is nothing they are doing in the palace, they cannot give birth, they cannot uh, bring other Oloris to be in peace. So there is no job they are performing in that palace that you will say that it is very hard. That is why Kabi is saying, Call them to tell them that it is time to end it all. Make everybody go their separate ways. And Miriam, as we heard, ran to Akure to go and fight Queen Naomi, saying that Mommy Tadeneka is the reason why Kabiese wants to divorce her. But she forgets say Kabiese doesn't love her. That is why that thought even come to Kabiese's mind. My correct, correct people now waiting with the hair where they saw for palace as alleged. I bet make her try to mount. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected. For more updates, we'll be dropping from time to time about waiting this stuff for Palace as an